please subscribe to the channel now so that you won't miss out on any of this and other revealing interviews we have with other entrepreneurs in Ghana. Thank you very much. I stand here and I buy that machine that you used to do your haircut. You give it to a boy to do the haircut. They make about 50 a day. If the Accra here is five city, they do the haircut for you. A minimum, they get about 10 per day. That's 50. They get 20. It's 100. At the end of the month, I asked them to give me 300. They should take the rest. I have 200 of such boys all over the country. Nothing stops you from organizing that. Some of them will run away with it. Others will not pay you. But those who will pay you, it's a lot of money. How much is it? 30 pounds. You buy one machine and give it to you. Those selling cocoa, the people that sell cocoa porridge by the wayside. I come to you. Do you need some money? Say yes. For what? For Kosi. Okay. How much? Say 50. Then I'll give you 50. But every month, give me 50. Say, ah, okay, okay, no problem. They know how much they will make per day. So every month, I will also go around, collect my 50, 50, 50, 50. Asamankesi 50. Ho 50. Kumasi 50. Accra here about 20 of them. 50, 50, 50. Isn't it money? Isn't it business? Can't you do that? Would you be sacked from prison service because you are supporting Koko? Ah! But it doesn't occur to you, Christ, that is possible. You rather go and kill and buy the Koko, eh? And you don't invest. These are opportunities we have around. And in the 21st century is entrepreneurship, self-made, simple businesses. So anywhere you are around and you see those little little businesses please use the right imaginative brain to see a bigger business out of it from here let us take your friends to papaya on the osu street where the woman selling rice by the street has been turned into a big time restaurant and is the most vibrant highly sought after restaurant in Accra right now. Papaya. Have you been there? Ah! But it's the ordinary rice oh, by the street. The man has put it in, put air condition, table and chair, and dress the waitress and the waitress, and he's in business. That's a simple wayside business. But he has now put it into a room. Next time around when you come, this room will not be a meeting room anymore. It will be a restaurant where we are selling everything about plantain. The plantain green one, we have its form, a PC. When it's getting ripe, we roast it. People like it. They love it because there's no fat. When it's ripe, we have the red red. More ripe, we have the kelewele. And then when it's even rotten, we have the off-arm. <laughs> All these are businesses. Again, another business that you can also create. Not the, the ties, normal lorry ties. There is a machine at Kokompe or Swami that will grit it, will cut it into little, little pieces. Add kota with that ties. And it's the best form of paper, pavement for pavement. Lorry ties. Get it gritted. And then add kota with the beauty men with it and then spread it and see and just uh, ramp it and you can use it for houses for long tennis courts even for roads nobody is doing it sawdust other sawdust there's a chemical you mix it with it and you can get the best bricket for charcoal so many businesses so many, so many, so many. It goes on and on and on and on and on. And it goes on. So that for bricket, food industry, cassava planting, they are all there. Snail farming. Nobody is canning contumbre in this country. Contumbre. Can it? Because it's seasonal. 
and from October to right down to February, very difficult to get. Now it's raining, so consumer is plenty. Nobody will even think about it that very soon there will be dry season. Shell butter is another. So these are the, some of the things that I am talking about. I don't want you to go out there and complain anymore. Think about new things that you could do that will bring you business. Secretary, can you bring me the blender or whatever so that I can show to my participants how simple it is to do business? Bring me blender and then let me demonstrate to you how you can turn your mango that is getting rotten into fruit juice. If you want to be successful in life, in your marriage, in your education, in your business, in your political career, it's not the knowledge, it is the skills of handling the people that will give you success. Then with your skills, you need attitude, special kind of attitude. Not the ordinary attitude though, but humble attitude. If A is one, B is two, C is three, Z is 26. Then the word attitude, write attitude. Then give the numbers to it. Do it uh, vertical. Attitude. When A is 1 and T is 2, this is 20. Another 20. This is 9. Another 20. U is 21. D is 4. E is 5. Now from here to here is 50. 21, 41, 50. Now here to here is also 50. If you total all, oh, it's 100. So attitude is 100% everything that we do. Yes, Now, we got our juice. We added pineapple to mango. This you can do at home. I'm only showing you this to show you how easy it is to be in business just from your home. At this point in time, you have even finished. Now, if you want to innovate it, then you add honey. This is honey, ordinary honey. You make it more nicer in terms of the taste if you want it to stay for more than one week two weeks on the shelf then you add a preservative and this is the preservative just a little bit. And this one will let you stay for the next three months. If you are interested, go home and just buy a blender. And never buy any fruit juice from outside. This is fresh. It carries all the vitamins. Now you pour these things in bottles. Then you label it. You are in business. If you want to know what the preservative is, that's where I will make my money. Come to me. Ours is natural, and we are at, a, at a, a crossroad where the human traffic is very high. I'll put on bow tie, and I'll put background music. Can I get some music? Now I'll do my azonto whilst I'm selling my fruit juice. Now I need, I need, I need the label. Another label, I put it Kama juice or Zim, Ghana Zim, eh? Gazim, Gazim juice, that's Ghana Zimbabwe juice. <laughs> Gazim, so now go around and show them the Gazim drink. And this is natural, fresh. And it's no mean person than a gentleman, 60 year old man selling this juice. You buy. Woo, woo, woo. Woo!
Woo! And I'm selling. It's only one Ghana. One Ghana. Every cup is one Ghana. If you taste one Ghana. I, Nanan Dr. Michael Ejikum Adam, encourage you to subscribe to this YouTube channel, EPV Media YouTube channel now, in order to have constant access to this very revealing series from renowned entrepreneurs like me on secrets of business success. Please subscribe now.